The Australian bush has a reputation for being a place where pretty much everything wants to eat you. And to some degree, that's well deserved. There's some pretty nasty snakes here, quite a lot of spiders, and of course there's drop bears. So let's have a look at a few of the strategies that I use to avoid getting eaten, and they're probably applicable most places in the world. Let's start with snakes, because that's generally the one that people are most concerned about, particularly in long grass like this. I've been doing this for roughly 35 years, and I see snakes on a pretty regular basis. I haven't yet been bit by one, and I'd like to keep it that way. The main thing to remember about snakes is they're a small animal. The biggest ones around here probably weigh less than a couple of kilos and their main diet is small rodents, frogs and birds. Humans are not on the menu. They don't have any legs so they can't run. They don't have any arms and claws so they can't fight. So the idea of tangling with someone that weighs a hundred times what you do is a really not good idea for them. For that reason, if there's one hiding in the grass somewhere here while I walk past, he's probably going to stay hidden. The only time that they'll ever attack a human is when they have no other choice and it's their last defence mechanism. If you don't put them in that situation, they're extremely unlikely to have a go at you. This is a black-headed rock python. At around 15 kilos, it's one of the largest snakes you'll see in Australia. But this one still chose discretion as the better part of valour when it came face to face with a couple of geologists. This eastern brown is one of the most venomous snakes in Australia, and in the same situation, it also chose to exit stage left. This is a cute little mamushi pit viper that I spotted in South Korea, and as you can see, it much prefers camouflage as a defence strategy rather than attack. The only time I've ever actually been attacked by a snake, I was working in a desert area in Mongolia, it was a bit hard pressed for our crop, and I found a bit of a flat rock lying in the sand and I hit that with my geopick and one very angry pit viper came out from underneath and tried to have a go at me. Fortunately, he didn't succeed for two reasons. One, I was using a long handled geopick so he had a bit more reach to try and get me and two, I was wearing gaiters and even if he had got that far his fangs would have been too short to get through the material into my leg. One of the best ways to avoid snakes is to take a little bit of extra care in areas where they like to live and hunt. And places like this are just ideal for them. Lots of pieces of broken rock and cavities underneath. I haven't actually seen any snakes here today, but it's pretty clear that they've been here. So. I'm just going to take a little bit of extra care in this one and right at the top of that list elsewhere are old mine dumps. I've probably seen more snakes on old mine dumps than anywhere else. Old mine workings like this one are great places for geologists because there's always lots of interesting rocks. But they're also great places for snakes because there's lots of little cracks and crevices for them to hide in and lots of little cracks and crevices for the things they like to eat to hide in. And most particularly, there's often sheets of iron around and lots of cover under those. So when you're working in a place like this, just take a little bit of extra care. And whenever you lift up anything, do it with your geo pick first. Just in case there's any unexpected inhabitants. As for the drop bears, you don't need to worry about them. They only eat tourists. I'm Nick Tate, and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. If you want the full version of this video, go to the link in the description below, and for the price of a decent first aid kit, you'll get the full version of this video, all the others in the Fieldcraft series, and anything else new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field.